So in addition to wedding prep, planning, working, I'm also gonna be moving pretty soon after. Yeah, I've been wanting to get started on it and kind of get ahead of it so it's not too much all at once after after I get married. So I made up a little plan of like what I could do now instead of waiting to do all of it at once. And these are all the spaces that I currently occupy right now. My mom's house, my studio, my dad's house, and my storage unit. It's, it's kind of too much. And that's actually one of the main reasons I want to do this because I don't necessarily have to go through like every single thing or take everything i won't be able to take everything with me and my parents will let me like leave whatever but i just feel like i've accumulated too i've accumulated too many things and i need to take this opportunity to go through everything um because i don't want to move and then also and just accumulate it's just going to build up and build up and i just have too much stuff like literally too much stuff for one person little stuff like my bedroom the bathroom my hair closet clothes equipment makeup furniture that's here i have my studio supplies equipment so today i want to start with something small it's sunday i don't want to do too much but i do want to get things going and slowly start checking things off the list and i'm thinking once i get started i'll kind of get on a roll so i thought i'd start off with like the easiest thing and just go through all of my makeup declutter it and get it into uh like more concise storage organization solution and also get rid of a lot of old stuff that I'm not using. This is everything that I decided to keep 
for my brushes which is a little bit hard i had a lot of brushes um i basically kept one full set of this like black set from shop miss a which i really like and then i kept the pink set which is all eye brushes and then two or three of my favorite brushes like this elf brush is like a large brush and then this morphe one so now it's just like one set of brush face brushes one set of eyes and then like a few of my little brushes i kept one just a couple palettes because i don't do eyeshadow a ton so i don't really need a lot of eyeshadow palettes like i used to have so i kept this z palette style palette from this is also from shop miss a i had a lot of makeup from when i used to do uh, work at shop miss a so so i have a like i accumulate a lot of stuff and it's just past due to go through it all but this palette was nice and i just stuck in some of the singles that i some of the singles that i still had and then this is the juvia's place palette that i just broke off i broke it from the back and yeah it works like that and that way it's all together and then i kept this morphe palette this is the morphe this is the morphe 35m and it's like the prettiest palette i've ever seen i remember when i first saw it and i still love it to this day the colors are just perfect to me and i think it has enough color where i'll have variety but then it also has enough neutrals where i could use it every day if i'm wearing eyeshadow and I just think it's so pretty with the purples and then, I mean, with the greens and the purples, oranges. This just has everything that I would ever, that I personally would ever use. Then here are all my lip products that I kept, which was a big downsize. So a quick run through of everything. Um, I kept pretty much all of my lip liners because I love a brown lip liner and I use them. Most of them, they're just from Morphe and NYX so you know I have trendsetter I have bar which I actually forgot that I had bar bar I have downtown beauty which I used to use a lot and new truffle from NYX I have a couple of those so these are just like my favorite browns and I can keep them all <laughs> I also have these two retractable ones from kiss a red one and a lighter new one or the red is just a staple whenever I need to wear a red lip um, I have an extra of trendsetter. I also decided to keep some lipsticks. I don't use lipsticks a ton, but these colors were nice. These were like some colors that I would actually use. So these are from Mended, and I kept the shades Dark Night in Dope Taupe, and then these Smashbox colors. One is a red, and then one is a nude, and I kept Boss in here for it. And then I have all the glosses that I use more frequently than lipstick. Some really good ones are the Fenty Beauty, the Cream, and Honey Waffles, which I use a lot. Of course, I had to keep my gloss balm. And then I also have this Buxom in Serena. It's pretty. This Morphe lipstick I've had for a while is from is by is Sauced. My Too Faced um, Plumping Gloss, my newer Maybelline Gloss, which I actually like to use just like as a regular like lip, like chapstick kind of lip gloss. And then I have these like mini Fenty Beauties, which I was thinking I would keep these because these could just go in like a bag or bedside. Like they're just kind of like that, easy to use. And then I have these NYX, a butter gloss, a soft lip cream and another butter gloss in um angel food cake berlin and this one is in cinnamon roll so that's good i have all my lip products and they fit in this little container i had maybe two or three containers of lips my powders and stuff i downsized a little bit my main powders i didn't have to but for my i have a fenty beauties powder foundation of course, I kept my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. Oh. And of course, I kept my Fenty Beauty um, Bronzer and Mocha Mommy. And of course, I kept my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. And I have an extra one. I bought this a long time ago. I'm just, it's just like a backup. And for highlighters, I ended up um, not keeping a lot of the highlighters that I used to wear a lot. Because when I tried them on, they were actually kind of ashy. 
So I have this random one from AMC Cosmetics. I think they sent this to me a long time ago, but it's really pretty. And then I kept these two um, AOA Studio Pow lighters, which I used to use a lot, but I'm not using highlighter that much. So I just kept these three loose ones and they're all different shades. And then for blush, oh, blushes I kept, oh, I'm not even holding the camera good. <laughs> for blushes, I kept um, my cream one, Fenty Beauty and Daiquiri Dip. And my newer Sephora one in Fascinated. And my AOA Studio Perfect Blush in Frenzy. Which, late the last time I did my makeup, I mixed these two and it was like perfect. So, the last little makeup things. I didn't really get rid of anything from this section, which is like face pro products and primers. Um, so, I just have my Born This Way foundation and concealer. I did keep my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in Deep Chestnut. I'll use that up. And then I have my 16 hour one in Rich Ebony. And then I have this, the contour stick, which I actually don't really care for that much now that I've used it. I thought it was so pretty, but I'll try to use it up. And then I have my Fenty Match Stick in Pumpkin. Now the primers could probably use a better downsizing, but they're all different. So I don't know. Um, I'll have my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip. And then I have uh, Smashbox Photo Finish Illuminating, which is kind of like a, it has like sparkle, it's like a sparkle illuminating primer, which I like, and I actually should use a little bit more. And then I have the Hydrating Primer, which I feel like would be good in the winter time. I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. This one isn't opened. And I have the Classic Photo Finish Smooth and Blur, and then the Mattifying. I've been using the Mattifying quite a bit. And I also have my eye primer from Morphe and my setting spray from Urban Decay the D-Slick. For some little things, I have my normal brow products, my Sephora and Morphe brow pencils and my Morphe um, brow cream and the NYX, and the NYX uh, brow glue. And some eye products I did keep for eyeshadow, I kept these three, um, just like more unique colors. The Aryan Beauty one, I didn't end up liking that much. I didn't like the shade as much as I thought that I would, but I'll try to get some use out of it. And then I have this e.l.f. Um, liquid one in Dirty Martini in this color pop blue shade, which is really pretty, but I haven't used it that much in Coconut. I have some mascaras. I haven't opened this one yet. This is my waterproof mascara. Um, I have my liner pen from ba Beauty Bakery and my pencil from Urban Decay, which will probably last me a long time. And I have two um, potted eyeliners and then just some color pencils in purple and blue, which I'll try to use probably next time. I'll try it under my eye. And then I just have some tools sharpener beauty blenders this is my little like brow kit i have my um shavers and my brow tinting stuff and then this is my eye section i have my individual lashes my glue and the little like removers and stuff and then i did keep a couple lashes in this like little i thought it'd be it would be convenient to keep them in I thought it would be convenient to keep them in this case that I had. If I do wear lashes, I'm just not wearing them right now. But I got this little case from a small business. It was actually, I got it from this business when I used to get a lot of eyelashes from her. And it was Dogal Vegan Eyelashes. I don't know if she still uh, sells them though. Um, and then I just have my makeup remover and my brush cleaner. Brush cleaner things. So that's everything that I'm keeping and it's like everything like I can do every single thing with all of this um so here's everything that I decided to give away or find somewhere else to put I'm actually gonna go downstairs and ask my mom if any of this stuff will work for her especially for the brushes so like these are some brush sets that I had I had like this full like bamboo style brush set and then I had all these white ones and then I had this like pretty gold set but I just don't need all of the brushes so those are like complete sets that could be used. And then I had duplicates of this black set and then random other like sets and like single brushes. So all of those are just kind of like duplicates. I have so many brush sets and I don't need those all. 
Um, I won't be keeping these um, lash products. These are from Amazon. They were okay. I mean, I don't have to give this away. But I feel like I'm not going to use it. But I actually don't have to. I could possibly use that. Um, these little individual ones. These 25 millimeter lashes I won't be wearing. Um, this is probably going to get thrown away. It's like a magnetic eyeliner. And then this needs to be thrown away as well. So for just some random... I spilled... I got eyeshadow on the carpet, so that's what that is. Um, but for some random products, I won't be keeping... This is the Makeup Obsession Matte Fix Mattifying um, Spray. It wasn't very mattifying to me. And the Milani... And it's actually really old. The Milani Make It Last. I could probably use the last bit of this. Um, these are the two highlighters that I'm not keeping. I've had these since high school. And um, yeah, I just don't need those anymore. They're really old. I also have this, um, this one is not open, but it's an anti-redness. I don't have that issue, so I don't need that. Um, this e.l.f. brow, wow brow is empty, pretty much. Some eye products that are just really old. These are old. This is old. This is like a foundation. The color wasn't good on that. They sent that to me. Um, this is used up. These are like freckle products and they're like old and crusty. I'm getting rid of this blush. It's also from high school. And these two primers, I just, these were kind of duplicates. They did the same thing. So I got rid of those. This Smashbox powder, getting rid of that. And it's old. These Smashbox foundations are also old. Um, more eye products. This still works. This is the Milk Makeup That Star Stamp. I don't know if y'all remember that, but I don't, I'm not going to use it anymore. Um, some eyeshadows, a MAC Loose, and then this Ulta Beauty. Oh, some MAC um, eyeshadows and Ulta Beauty ones. They're just old and I'm, I never used them. A white liner. I'm done with that. This is all dried up. It's a NYX eyeshadow base. I'm done with that. This is the last bit of the e.l.f. concealer. I don't have to get rid of this. I might keep this one. Also, this gloss. I'm going to keep this because I can use this one up. Um, I'm going to get rid of this blush. I don't like that shade anymore. And it's old. I'm going to just keep these and use these up. <laughs> Here are the eyeshadow palettes that I won't be keeping. Um, this is the Huda Beauty one. I pretty much broke the entire thing at this point. Let me see if I can get it open. This is what's left of it, which I don't necessarily have to give it away, but yeah, I don't want to keep that. Um, I have this other loose powder, I mean Z palette style palette that has like a whole bunch of loose things that I just don't use. I have this Morphe one that I tried depotting, but I ended up break, breaking it. So it was actually in like really good condition, but now it's broken this like colorful palette i'm not going to use those shades um this palette these are um shot miss a palettes i'm just not going to use all of this eyeshadow this one's really pretty so i'll probably find some family members that might like these i know my cousins would really like this so when we give you any of this and what i can give away i will be giving away we just got it from Target and they had some cute stuff today. This is actually something I saw a couple weeks ago and it's literally just a black sweater, but I really liked the cut of it. I did want to go like one more size up, but I'm trying not to buy huge clothes anymore. So yeah, it's just like a black sweater that I thought would look really cute. I would wear it exactly the way I would with like a crew neck sweatshirt, but it's just like a little bit cuter than that. And I think the fit is nice. The cut is of it is like nice. It's not cropped. It's not like too tight at the bottom. So I just really like this. And they had, I wish they had like a cream color, but they had this color. They had an orange and then like striped colors. Are you seeing this? So they have this like leather, leather, vegan leather pants set which as soon as i saw it i was like oh this is like giving aritzia they are a little shorter on me so if you're shorter i have all that makeup on for they're kind of like super short so i would definitely wear like a heel with it to kind of like offset that 
but if you're shorter than me i'm 5'10 so that'd be like a nice ankle length and then yeah it's just like a button down this is like a nice you know i love my matching sets so this is the winter version of my matching set which i thought is so cute i would definitely tuck it in like this and you can do that how cute I have my hair cute my hair is like puffy today like that the shirt is like oversized i tried this on so the sizing is really good i ended up i am needing to go through all of my clothes because they are not really fitting that good anymore everything's really big and like just looks really frumpy on me so i ended up sizing down than i would normally would have even better they had a chocolate brown set so i got both because this is something i would i know i'm gonna wear like for sure so let me put this one on wait y'all i just saw this no okay it doesn't match perfectly and i don't know if this would be too matchy matchy here's the brown set the last thing that i got i forgot was the these notebooks and i really like this style of notebook i'm not exactly sure what it is but just fold in half really thin i'll show you one in my journal this is like my what i'm writing in right now like my little diary and it's just the same style of fold over type thing and it's like a, a good size for me i'll write in a couple pages um or sometimes one page it's not too big it's not too small and they fit in my a size hold on let me show you it'll fit in my a size so i can just carry it all together and i think that is so cute um I got one similar from a stationery store in Deep Ellum. It's called Archer Paper Goods. This one is so pretty. So I was looking for the same kind and you can get them like in large packs on Amazon but I was at Target and saw these and it was the exact same like aesthetic that I'm liking right now which is kind of like a illustrative black and white floral this that I'm working on that I showed you like all my journaling and stuff is my like journal planner set up for next year and I'm just getting it all fleshed out because I'm kind of starting from scratch on that because the last cut oh I'm falling over hold on oh all of this fell out the last couple of years I've done um, all digital planning and i've just done uh, like my diary journal writing and like random stuff and so i wanted to just as a hobby pick it back up and do like more memory keeping for this year and going forward so i'm just like setting everything up it's just like more fun it's not necessary because i could just do it all digitally but um sometimes i just have the feeling of wanting to like connect with things like i don't know how to explain that I'll finish this one and then move on to this which I'm very excited about it came with three different patterns one is like like a sea life one is like insects and then one is plant life so that's so cute it's kind of like a botany but I'm loving that everything would fit all in one journal originally I was gonna have like a couple which I do have a couple, but they all fit in one. So I'll be able to have like my journal and then, well, like my diary more so, and then like journaling things. And then I always keep a notebook where I can just like write anything in it. I call it a brain dump journal. And anytime I have a thought or anytime I need to like physically write out an idea that I have, I always have a notebook for that. And just anything can go on it, random notes stuff like that and i'll reference it throughout the year so i'm almost finished up with the one that i have now and then i'll be going into this one well now actually i don't know if i'm going to use this for the brain dump or use these for the brain dump i'm gonna to have to see but i've kind of figured out what kind of size that i like and everything will just fit all in one so now this whole thing is kind of like a catch-all
I'm refreshing my um, hair. My roots have gotten like really puffy from all my workouts. So I am trying to see like what the round blush would do. And I think it's working out pretty cute. I'm doing all of my cleaning and chores right now. So the vacuum's in the background. But yeah, I think it kind of gave it like a little bump as opposed to this is what it looks like before. Like my roots are puffy and I've done this side and it straightened them out a little bit better. So I'm gonna keep going and see how it turns out. I'm about to do my nails and I'm just getting um, pulling out all of my stuff I have this little traveling case with all of my nail supplies and it's very convenient so it pretty much has like my essentials and I have all of my like implement things at the top that I just took out I also keep the electric file in there and then I have this top drawer I'm pretty much only doing gel nails lately so I have my gel polishes and then builder gel and stuff I have some pots down here which I think I might choose one of these colors I'm not so sure and then at the bottom I just have my lights and liquids so I'm so excited to finally get my nails done I've been trying to grow my nationals out but when there's like downtime in between they end up breaking off so maybe one day but it's not today <laughs> for colors I don't know I kind of want something fun this time last time I did a light pink which looked good for a while or do I want like a fall color pretty green color that's actually kind of pretty or I have some other greens look at that color that's pretty on orange I think I'm gonna go with that green I have been moving through my to-do list today very well so I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos get these nails on I'm gonna do like a almond ovaly shape so I decided to not do a tip because I'm trying to grow up my nails. I just ended up doing a gel overlay and I think it looks so cute actually. Um, surprisingly, I've been enjoying my natural like nubby fingers and um, lately I've been hesitant to do no tips but every time I do no tip or like a short nail, I've been liking it way more than I used to. I used to wear super long nails. I, re I saw an old video of mine like two years ago and I had the longest like coffin nails. They were so cute though, they had like I had did like a really nice design but I literally just cannot function with like long nails anymore it just gets me irritated you know like when they like get in the way and all that stuff so I'm glad that I actually like the look of a short nail so it doesn't have to feel like miserable um but yeah I did uh beyond nail what is it called beyond nails is a local um nail supply store so I usually use their products and they're pretty good I use the base and then I have this builder gel in this like light pink color, which is like the color of my natural nails. So this is what two coats looks like on my nails. And I think it's like really pretty. This is actually just a nice like manicured look if you don't want like any color. That's actually nice. So now I'm just gonna do this color and I think it'll turn out pretty good. <laughs> 